What's the problem? Math problems. Oh, I can help you. Let me see. All right, um, here's the easy one. What's six times three? Six times three. I don't know. Six times three. I don't. Six times three. I legit don't know. Six three. I don't know. What is it? What is it? Get your mom. Why? Teresa! What's the problem? Homework. What's six times three? I don't know. Six times three. I don't know. What's six plus six? Oh, 12. Now add six. I don't know. What is it? What is it? Get your math teacher. Who? Mr. Patrick. Boom. What? Homework. I taught you this. What's six times three? I don't know. Look, if Johnny had six times three amounts of this soap, how much this soap would he have? How much? How much? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You ready for this? Not really. It'll be fine. Chris, we have something to tell you. <laughs> I think that went well. You threw up and we both left. Nah, it's all in the past. It was literally 30 seconds ago. That's a matter of opinion. No, it isn't. Let's try again. Chris, we have something to tell you. I chloroformed myself, didn't I? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Don't do it again! Look, you take the lead this time. You see, the thing is, Jenny and I- I'll just kill him. I'm no, just gonna- no, just no, let no, me no, kill him! No, let me shoot no, him in the no, face! No. Mom! Dad! I'm gay! Wrong! And if I shoot him, we can make out! No, Tom, this can be so easy! No. When two people spend a lot of time together... Where are your legs? Ich habe Sex mit deiner Schwester. Nein! Chris, I'm from the future! Tell him he's ugly! You're chubby! You can't even get that right! Thomas! Give me Thomas! No! I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Yeah, Chris is never gonna find out about us. Oh, that's what we're doing! Chris, I know this is hard for you to hear, but I'm dating your sister! Yeah, that's fine. Whoops! Another story I heard about myself. This one happened in high school. Uh, we had this teacher in high school whose kid went to our high school. His name was Mr. McNamara, and his son, Jake McNamara, went to our high school. He was a sophomore when I was a senior, so he was two years behind me. And Mr. McNamara was an asshole. And one weekend, he and his wife decided to leave town, which you should never do if you're an asshole. And Jake McNamara decided to throw a party at the teacher's house. Hooray! <laughs> and everyone around town heard about it, and we all got up individually and thought, okay, let's go over there and destroy the place. <laughs> I walked into this party, everyone I had ever met was there, and everyone was drinking like it was the end of the world. <laughs> People were drinking like it was the Civil War and a doctor was coming to saw our legs off. It was totally unsupervised. We were like dogs without horses. We were running wild. I walked down. I walked down to the basement. They had a pool table in the basement. One dude took a running start and threw his body onto the pool table and broke it in half. Another kid found out which room was Mr. McNamara's and went upstairs and took a shit on his computer. So the party was going great. <laughs> I'm standing in the basement and I'm holding a red cup. You've seen movies. And I'm standing there and I'm holding a red cup and I'm starting to black out. And I guess someone said like, something, something, police. And in a brilliant moment of word association, I yelled, fuck the police. <laughs> fuck the police. And everyone else joined in. A hundred drunk white children <laughs> yelling, fuck, duh, police. With the confidence of guys who have like already been to jail and aren't afraid of it anymore. You know, that like, I serve my nickel, you come and take me, confidence. But white children. 
the reason someone had said something something police was because the police were there. So a Chicago police officer walked down the stairs and got to the bottom in the basement and looked out over a sea of drunk toddlers yelling, fuck the police, in his face. And he was almost impressed. He's like, wow. And then he leaned into his walkie-talkie and went, get the paddy wagon. And my friend John, who is now a father, this man now has a baby, he grabbed a 40, smashed it on the ground, and yelled, scatter! (laughs) And everyone ran in a different direction. We all ran in different directions. It was like that scene in Rat Tattooey when the humans come in the kitchen and all the rats go in different ways. We all ran in different directions. I ran into the laundry room and I jumped up on the washing machine and I crawled out through a window into the backyard and now I'm running through the backyard and there was this big chain link fence and I thought, I've never climbed a fence that high before. And then I woke up at home. (laughs) On Monday, I went to school because that's what we did back then. And I'm walking into the school building, and who do I see but Jake McNamara? And he says to me, hey, were you at my party on Saturday? And I said, no. You know, like a liar. (laughs) And he said, things got really out of hand. Someone broke the pool table. Someone took a shit on my dad's computer. (laughs) But the worst thing, he says, the worst thing is that someone stole these old antique photos of my grandmother, and my parents are freaking out about it. And I had that thought that only blackout drunks and Steve Urkel can have. (laughs) Did Did I do that? I figured, no, I wouldn't have done that. But I was never sure until two years later. Relax. I'm playing video games with this kid named Alex that we also went to high school with. Two years later, we've graduated by now. We're playing video games for a couple hours. And then Alex says to me, hey, come here, I wanna show you something. And he takes me into his bedroom. And then he takes me into a side room off of his bedroom. Never a good thing to have. (laughs) And he shows me a tiny room that is covered wall to wall in stolen antique photos from different people's parties over the years. And I said, why? Why do you do this? And Alex said, because it's the one thing you can't replace. Uh, me and my sister, we go over, um, it's a place called Beautiful Nail. I was kind of confused when I first read the sign, though. Beautiful Nail. Just one. <laughs> Just one nail. Do I get to pick which one? Or... No. Now with these ladies, they're so nice. You know, they make you feel like it's all about you and customer service. You know, whatever you lie, we do for you. <laughs> Really nice, yeah. As soon as I walk in, they greet me right away. Hi, honey, what you need today? (laughs) Oh, um, can I get my nails done? Okay, honey, do you lie pedicure too? Uh, no, no, just my nails. Honey, why you don't lie? (laughs) Pedicure, it may look nice, it's so sexy. It's better for you. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, sure, then I'll get a pedicure too, thanks. Okay, honey, sit down, I'm gonna sick my ling, she do for you, good job, only $20, but that's okay, sit down. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. So my ling starts doing my nails right away. Um, by the way, her American name is Tammy. <laughs> Tammy. <laughs> you have boyfriend? No, no, I don't, I don't have a boyfriend. Honey, why you don't have? 
you look so pretty like model cheerleader something pretty you like long or short nail uh short nails please thanks oh honey that's why you don't have a boyfriend i do for you long better all right fine i'll have long nails thanks it's okay honey only four dollar more that's okay do you like quit or jail what do you like quit or jail um uh i'm sorry um what <laughs> honey do you like quit or jail for your nail it's the best thing you can have for your nail make look nice it sparkle like diamond in the sky do you like quit or jail <laughs> Oh, um, no, I don't want crit crypto that. Thanks. Honey, you say to me you do not have a boyfriend. I don't want to help you. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. I'll have some. Thank you. It's okay. And it's better for you. Only six dollar more. <laughs> I'll finish. Go wash your hand. All right. Thanks, Tammy. Oh, wait. Hold on. This one here is a little bit crooked. See that? No, honey, that your finger do like that. <laughs> That's funny, because my finger didn't do like that before I came in here. It's okay, honey, don't worry. I fix it for you, don't worry. Chúc mừng năm bọn em xe lắm tiền kia lắm. Oh, she said you look so pretty. What happened here? Suicide. How'd he do it? Well, took this gun and he. Holy what shit! The Who does that? That was so irresponsible! <laughs> What the hell has happened here? He shot himself! How did that happen? He just took this gun and he- <gasps> Are you serious? You were 17 years from retirement. We heard gunshots. Is everyone alright? What's going on? Oh, oh god. god! What happened? Well, you see, they keep taking this- No, gun. no, 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 no! Son of a bitch! Well, thanks to you, I didn't hear what he said. Oh, it's really simple. He said he picked up the gun. Uh-huh, okay. Put it to his head. Oh! oh! Oh no, my twin brother! Where did you come from? What hell? No, stop! Don't ask him. What happened? I said, yeah. I picked up the gun like this. Okay. And I put the gun to his head with a pillow like this. Okay. And then he pulled the trigger. Oh! Oh! Oh my God! Oh no, my twin brother! Why are so many you twins? Nepotism! Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So what happened? Well, he picked up the gun. Oh, and then he put it to oh, his... Oh. No, that's not right. He... I hate this job. Please. Please don't ask him. Daddy. Well, honey. Okay, children, let's take our seats. We have a lot to learn today. We sure do, Mr. Hayat. Okay, children, let's start the day with a few new math problems. What is five times two? Come on, children, don't be shy. Just give it your best shot. Yes, Clyde. Twelve 
Okay, now let's try to get an answer from someone who's not a complete retard. Anyone? Come on, don't be shy. I think I know the answer, Mr. Garrison. Nah, 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 nah. Shut up, fat boy! Hey, don't call me fat, you fucking Jew! Eric, did you just say the F word? Jew? No, he's talking about fuck. You can't say fuck in school, you fucking fat ass. Kyle! Why the fuck not? Eric! Dude, you just said fuck again! Stanley! Who? Kenny! What's the big deal? It doesn't hurt anybody. Fuck, 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 fuck. How would you like to go see the school counselor? How would you like to suck my balls? <laughs> what did you say? Uh, I I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Actually, what I said was... How would you like to suck my balls, Mr. Garrison? Holy shit, dude. Well, I must say I'm very disappointed in you boys, okay? You should be ashamed of yourselves. Now, I've already called in your mothers, You called my mom? That's right. Oh, no, dude! Mr. Mackey, can I ask a question? Okay, what? What's the big fucking deal, bitch? Yeah. Uh, now, now I want to know where you heard these horrific obscenities, okay? Nowhere. Uh, we heard them from Mr. Garrison a few times before. Yeah. Boys, I seriously doubt that Mr. Garrison ever said, uh, eat penguin shit, you ass spelunker. <laughs> Uh oh. Thank you all for coming on such short notice. This just isn't like you, Stanley. What did my son say, Mr. Mackey? Did he say the S word? No, it was worse than that. The F word? Well, here's a short list of the things they've been saying. Okay. Oh, dear God. Young man, you will tell Mr. Mackey this instant where you heard all these horrible phrases. I. I... We can't tell you. We all took a sacred oath and swore ourselves to secrecy. It was the Terrence and Phillip movie. Dude! What? Fuck you guys. I want to get out of here. Terrence and Phillip? Well, I guess I'll have to send a warning letter out to parents before more children see Terrence and Phillip. Everybody's fucking seen it. Eric! I'm sorry, I can't help myself. That movie has warped my fragile little mind. I'm gonna get down. I love you and I'm gonna get down. I love you and I'm gonna get down.